What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to use layouts and pages in Next.js. I'll use the repo that comes from the Next.js docs where they show concepts with a dashboard app. I'll put a link to that repo in the description if you want to follow along. So starting at version 13, Next.js introduced file system routing where folders are used to create nested routes. Each folder represents a route segment that maps to a URL segment. And to render those, you'll need a page.tsx file. See this page.tsx file in the app. So app being the root of our project and the page.tsx being the page that would render for this root route. So this would be the home page. And so this is the home page and it is rendering at localhost 3000 or whatever domain without the uh, slash and then a different page. So home page, page TSX. Now you can also have, and actually you have to have a layout.tsx. You can have multiple, but you don't need multiple. You just need the one at the very top. And that's where you'll have your HTML tags and body tags. And then the uh, children inside the body tag will be the rest of your app. And so to create another page on another route, like .com slash dashboard, for example, we'll create a dashboard folder inside our app folder. And then inside that dashboard folder, we'll create a page.tsx file. So in our app, we have, we'll create a folder called dashboard inside that we will create a page.tsx we'll say export default function page and we'll just return a paragraph tag for now we'll say super intricate dashboard page we will save that and now if we go to slash dashboard we see our super intricate dashboard page so by having a special page.tsx file Next.js allows you to co-locate files so inside one folder like the dashboard folder the page TSX will render the content for that route, but you can also, in that folder, include other files like UI components, test files, style files, which is a little weird to say, uh, and other related code with your routes, which can be a handy way of organizing your code. Um, and then to create further nested routes, you just add additional folders and then page TSX files in those folders. So say we wanted nested pages like .com slash dashboard slash invoices and .com slash dashboard slash customers. We start by creating an invoices folder inside the dashboard folder and then the page TSX file inside the invoices folder. So dashboard folder, I will create a new folder called invoices. And inside that invoices folder, we'll create a page.tsx. And inside this page.tsx, we will do export default function page, and we will return a paragraph tag, and we will say super intricate invoices page and then we can do the same for go back to the dashboard folder we'll create another folder we'll call it customers and inside that customers folder we'll create a file called you guessed it page.tsx and inside this page.tsx file we will create a page which just returns a paragraph tag that says super intricate 
customers page. And so now if we go to dot com slash dashboard slash invoices, we see our super intricate invoices page. And if we go to slash dashboard slash customers, we see our super intricate customers page. And now we'll create a layout for the dashboard. Dashboards have some sort of navigation where that navigation is shared across multiple pages and we'll use a layout for that. So inside the dashboard folder, we'll create a file called layout.tsx. So layout.tsx, that is inside the dashboard folder. And I'm actually going to paste in some code here because there's a fair amount of it and then I'll just explain it a bit. So the layout component receives a children prop and this child can either be a page or another layout. In our case, the pages inside the dashboard folder will automatically be nested inside the layout. So these different pages inside of our dashboard folder will be the children that are being rendered here. So we have our side nav and then over here we have the children which will be those different pages. And we see we're on the customers page and this is our side nav. Click to the invoices page and now we're on that and this layout is still here either way. So you got customers, invoices, home to go to the dashboard and this all stays. This will render separately. But we still have to set up the links properly. So I'll show you how to link to different pages in Next.js. And to do that, I'm going to go into this UI folder, the dashboard, and we have these nav links. And right now they're just anchor tags. And so what you would typically do is import link from next link. And then instead of an anchor tag, you would do a link component and then your closing of the link component. And now they have an array with objects and then they're mapping over that to have the different links and then for the href of where it's linking to they're filling that in like that. Uh, this is typically not necessary. I mean you can just put a link and then href and then a string of like and you can do a relative path or not but uh, you can do relative path like slash dashboard slash invoices or yeah you can do like that and then this key right here is only because it's an array that's getting mapped over so you wouldn't typically need a key. You can just do a link, an href, and then the classes to style it. And so I'll save that and now you may or may not have caught it before but the whole page was refreshing before because we were just using anchor tags um, but now it goes very quickly and there is no refresh because we're using the next link component and it makes it feel like a real web application even though parts would be rendered on the server and to improve the navigation experience Next.js automatically code splits your application by route segments this is different from a traditional react single page application where the browser loads all of your application code on initial load Splitting code by routes means that pages become isolated. If a certain page throws an error, the rest of the application will still work. Furthermore, in production, whenever link components appear in the browser's viewport, Next.js automatically prefetches the code for the linked route in the background. And by the time the user clicks the link, the code for the destination page will already be loaded in the background. And this is what makes the page transition near instant. So if the link is like further down on the page and they're scrolling down the page and that comes into the viewport, it'll fetch that page. And then when they go to click on that link, it's already fetched and renders it very quickly. Very cool. And so there you go. 
That's pages, layouts, and links in Next.js. I'll do a follow-up video where we focus specifically on links and how you can get the current URL path the user is on and render specific styles. That way we can style the navigation to show which page the user is on, which is the best practice. If this video was helpful, please give it a like and let me know what else you'd like me to cover. And as always, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Check it.